In this lesson, we'll learn how to play video using the Media API. I'll be using the custom button class that I created that was used in the lesson on taking photos. And at the bottom, we'll start by creating a new instance of this button class and assign it to a variable called video button. So for the arguments, we'll assign the off property. the on property, the x and y position, and then the callback function. And here it'll be an anonymous function. And this is where we'll call media.playvideo, which is how you'll play video with the media API. So for the first argument, it is a string that denotes the path to the video. So I've placed it within the media folder and the video is called China by bus. This is some video I took outside of Shenzhen, China on a trip. The second argument is whether or not to show the controls. So we'll say true. And the third argument is a callback function when the video is ended. And what do you want to do? And here we'll just have an anonymous function that calls print video ended. Now, obviously, since this is a print command, it wouldn't appear on either the simulator or the device. This would just be good for debugging. Okay, we'll save it and head to the simulator. And now we'll tap the button and there's the video. Bring up the terminal. Once the video is ended, we'll see video ended here in the terminal. And there you go. If you wanted to, you could call media.playvideo with a remote source. And so I'll comment that at the bottom. So that would look like this, media.playvideo. And you simply pass the URL. And then for the second argument, you would pass media that remote source as a constant. And then the third and fourth arguments would be the controls and the callback function. This ends our lesson on playing video with the Media API.